We have so much to celebrate in this episode, folks. Uh, we've hit 1,000 subscribers. It's been an epic and amazing week. Lots of things to go through. So uh, let's just get into it. Welcome back to the channel, guys. My name is Chris Ferlong, and we're all about running, reselling, lifestyle, and everything in between. And as I mentioned, this week it's been pretty, pretty good, um, just for a whole different things. And I'm going to jump into some of the details around the 1,000 subscribers and competition and giveaways and all that jazz. We'll chat about that at the end. But for the reselling, uh, it's been an awesome week. Uh, we're going to touch on the top five items that I have sold for this week, jumping in around the data of how we've progressed uh, to date and yeah, some of the wins, some of the things that haven't really worked out. Um, and we'll go through all that jazz. So let's just jump into it. Top item number one, this is the whew, one of the best items I've ever done and it was a Nintendo Mario Party duffel bag. Now there was actually a lunchbox that goes with this and I sold that as well within this bundle. Um, I did the guy a bit of a deal but I paid $2.68 for this bad boy and uh, picked it up just in a thrift shop and sold it for $250 plus postage. Uh, so after that profit was $209.82 so this one. You know, it's one of those items where you want to hold on to it because it's just so cool, it's just so rare. But, uh, you know, it's better to go to someone that is a collector, someone that is going to cherish it and love it more and more. So, it has gone to somewhere over in the US and I'm happy to move it along. So, pretty big win, very happy with this. And that that's one of the big, <laughs> big wins for this week. But of course, it's not everything. Item number two, and this is some RM Williams. And I want to say a big shout out to two Aussie thrifters is I found these in the thrift shop, a couple more as well. And... I just didn't know anything about them because I've never found them actually in the thrift shop before. And they're only 10 bucks alone, but you know, after the cost of goods for the day, average price came out to be $3.19. Um, and yeah, they turned out to be legit. I sold them for $50 within listing them of 24 hours. Uh, profit of basically 40 bucks on this one. Next up is uh, this Stephen King book. And once again, I've sold quite a few of these first edition books. I uh, picked this one up for $2.25, sold it for just shy of $50. With a $39 profit and be on the lookout for this because they are hard covers, dust jackets, first editions. Most of the time you will get around that $50 mark. FIFA World Cup. Um, I picked this up for $1.18 in a big bundle lot. I was able to sell it for $31 plus some postage. So I came out with $25 on this one. So it's not a huge item, but to get it for that cheap, that's why it's um, been able to you know come in my top five items for this week. Now, top item number five was some Lego. This was a zero cost for me because this was left over from a different bundle, which I'd already made the money from and based off the cost of goods on that one. So zero dollars for this one. I uh, sold it for $28 plus postage. Uh, so profit on this was 25 bucks. So pretty happy with this. Bunch of different minifigures. I probably could have split them out even further, but I just wanted to move them along. Um, and yeah, sold this within... 48 hours of listing. So flops and wins. So there's been actually quite a few refunds and DVD issues this week, ironically the same day. So I, one lot was a brand new sealed DVD. The guy got it, played it, took some pictures on multiple DVD players and it was just coming up with all artifacts and all, um, you know, all fuzzy and whatnot. And nothing I could do about it. it was a sealed DVD. So I just gave his money back and um, it is what it is. I mean, I sold it to him for like 12 bucks. So, I mean, I can't really losing you know i said minus postage uh you know refunded him around seven bucks or something so uh wasn't wasn't too bad but then on the same day i sold five seasons season four of the sealed dvds did not work they said there was some kind of film or layer over the top of that wasn't able to let them work in their dvd players i didn't know what it was um i said what do you want me to do i can give you a refund or send the whole thing back and i'll give you a refund you know so uh, so basically said i'll give you 14 bucks back just for the dvd that isn't working she's like oh can you just provide me the new season and i said no i can't we don't just stock them um she's like oh you know it would be better if you could do that which i don't know i guess it's a unfair expectation when you're buying from someone that you just replace it but i said no not available so the best i can do is give you a refund for those items so yeah now in terms of wins one thing i did want to call out and we'll touch on it slightly later is just how the week has gone and this week I also had my biggest day in terms of sale quantity did 10 sales in one day which was very overwhelming it's been a very overwhelming week actually just because you know packing 15 orders because I had five and then ten that that came out of nowhere and, and I realized with all this I mean it's success all this great work sometimes I'm not used to having that I guess you know throughput and it really did take a 
big chunk of time for me just getting to that workflow, do the 15 items. And these weren't just small DVDs or anything. I had a range of items. So really big win there, but I guess something I'm going to have to work on is to make sure, well, as I continue to show up and get more work done and get better results, these things are going to happen more and more. So something to keep in mind. All right. So how have we gone for the week? Well, it's been an awesome week. It hasn't been the biggest sales. It hasn't been the biggest revenue, but it has been the biggest profit that I have ever done. And we've done 31 sales, margin of 71.5%. Cost of goods only $82. We've sold $881 worth and a big profit of 631 bucks. So as you can see on the left-hand side there, what has been selling this week? And of course the collectibles that Nintendo uh, bag did obviously do the big bulk of this profit. However, you can see that you know, toys have done some good profits. We've had DVDs sh basically selling almost every single day. And surprisingly, the books haven't been as high this week, but once again, lots of bread and butter items. So that good broad variety has done wonders. So how are we tracking from an average perspective and over a period of time? So last week I did my biggest week in terms of quantity. This week, it was not too far behind 31 sales. Uh, we've done, as I mentioned, $881 in terms of revenue. So our average has gone up around $9. Uh, so it's pretty exciting just to see these things continuing to charge up. Um, and it's it's just, it's been very overwhelming, just all these positive things that are happening. And not, not to, you know, toot my own horn, but at the end of the day, I have been putting in the work, you know, and that goes to the next slide, which is about putting in the listings, daily listings, and this week I managed to do 102 listings, that's 14.5 per day, which is just shy of my 15 goal per day. Um, so not really actually where I wanna be yet, but not too far off. We've done 4.4 sales per day roughly on average. And I have also found if I'm getting those listings out before 10, that seems to help the rest of the day. If I'm getting those listings out, you know, afternoon, it, I seem to have less sales on the day. Probably not related, but just, just something I've been, you know, keeping an eye on as well. Now, the other thing is coming back to those average listings is, as you can see, July, I've really started to step up. So doing those 15, and that's something that I'm really trying to make sure that I am staying consistent to is those 15. And the reason why 15 is for the $100,000 revenue challenge. Now, we're at day 181. I'm sitting at $18,492 at the time of this video. Uh, so we're still behind on the 30th of June milestone. However, I created that listings needing calculator and depending on my ASP, this will average out what I need to be doing on a certain day in terms of average listings per day for the rest of the year to get to even trying to earn that $100,000. Now, at the moment, that fluctuates between 13 and about 15, depending on my ASP. My ASP is lower this week, so the listings required per day is actually a bit higher. So at the moment, it's sitting about 14.7. So I'm trying to meet that every single day. All right, so question for this week. Now, Mossy, he reached out, you know, he gave me a good thank you for my, um, how I've been progressing over the last month. And he did ask me, you know, what is my target number for listings? And <clears throat> I kind of just mentioned that already, but, Really, this will fluctuate. So if I had my ASP sitting at, you know, 80, well, I could potentially be doing half the amount of listings, which meaning I would only have to do seven listings per day. However, if I'm able to get my ASP up, I am also going to try and do just as high of quantity around that 10 to 15 per day, each day, seven days a week, and really just try and make sure that I'm getting ahead when that opportunity arises. So I'm trying to do two things here, raise the ASP, but also continue to do 15 listings per day. So I hope that answers your question. I also want to be very clear here that some days are a lot easier than others. Because if I'm doing DVDs, they're easy to list. If I'm not doing any DVDs and I'm doing, you know, things that need to be clean, clothing, all those things take a lot more time. So what's coming up this week? Well, Wednesday will either be a thrift video or around the 1000 subscribers competition details. Now, as I mentioned, over the last few weeks, I've been saying that when I hit 1000, I will be doing a giveaway. Um, so I'll be setting all that up and I want to give you guys a good couple of weeks to be able to take that opportunity to, to do the giveaway requirements um, and give everyone a fair chance. And I'm, don't worry, I'm going to make sure that even if people can't attend that live stream where I'm going to be doing the giveaway, people can still be valid in winning. So have a, you know, a chance to win at whether it's these... Pokemon cards, some other things or, or whatnot. So stay tuned for that. That video will be coming soon. Saturday, I have week seven of the 50K training plan and Sunday we'll have my podcast. Well, that's it, folks. That's 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 the week. It's It's been uh, it's been a magical week. Just 
I'm learning a lot about myself and there's a few other things going on in the background, all good things, um, but just things that I'm just trying to figure out, um, testing myself and there's a few things putting me outside of my comfort zone and I've got a lot of things that I'm juggling now, but you know, to have me do my best month last month, to have my weekly sales continue to soar, to have me hit 1,000 subscribers, the podcast has hit 500, I'm doing a giveaway over there and there's just a lot of things going on at the moment, doing the 50k training. So juggling all that, it's keeping me very um, on my feet and this is all good, but at the same time I need to make sure I'm doing everything smartly and not just rushing to get everything done. So. It's going to be interesting over the next few weeks as I just adjust to all those things. So yeah, I mean, look, that's really what's on my mind. Really do appreciate anyone, everyone that's, you know, if you're showing up for a like, showing up for a comment, showing up for a view, or showing up with a subscription, uh, this this means the world to me. Obviously, we've hit 1,000. This has been a goal for a very long time. I don't really want to get into that story too much at the moment because I want to do that when I do do that deeper video and uh, give you guys a bit better of a thank you. So... Um, yep, yeah, I'm going to stop chatting. I will let you leave any questions below because I am trying to answer questions at the same time each week, trying to uh, just give someone a chance that I can answer a question on as you saw. Um, otherwise, yeah, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, do the whole shebang and hustle. Ciao.